Uh, hi, this is Kendall with Forms on Fire, and I'm providing this video to just show you this small prototype that we designed. And if you log into your iPad, download or Android or Windows, and download Forms on Fire, which looks like this icon right here with the flame. If you log in, and you'll see that I'm logged in under the settings screen using a user called uh, no reply at formsonfire.com and I'll just hit the left arrow to go back but the production inspection app you can just click on that and you can if you have for your project number uh, if you have a, a barcode for that you can scan it in as it comes through the production line or you can type in something like one you know part of the number so if I type in 93216 it will find the project number that I'm looking for. And when I select that, if you have more than one item number for a project, which I don't think you do, I think you mentioned there's a one-to-one -one relationship between project number and item number. It just brings up the item number. It shows me the item description uh, based on the item type that it was. It's uh, item group two, product class, product line, selection code. There's four ordered there's, this is revision D, the order status is active. Then you can begin to scan in each serial number and then inspect the serial numbers. Since I don't have those barcodes right here, I'll just type in a one and this will show that indeed this had four items and these are the four items. So if I select one of the items and then we can just inspect each of the assemblies depending on which ones are related to that product type and I believe that might be uh, related to product class. These are the relationships that we need to understand going forward for the full project. But if I, and I only use the base assembly for this prototype. We didn't add anything uh, but the base assembly. So if I say base assembly is okay, nothing happens. But if I say NG or not good, I believe is what that may stand for. Uh, it asks me for uh, adding the defaults and we can just add a base assembly fault by clicking on the button down below and you can put in a number of faults for the base assembly and we can just choose the criteria like this is a function and the defect is the brake not in function brake or the brake is unsmooth and this uh, provides the code and gives me an opportunity to add a photograph so I can just take a photograph of what is wrong and I can even annotate on that photograph. So if I want to change the color of the annotation and use an annotation tool to point something out, perhaps this is a defect. Uh, I can point that out. I can even draw on the screen, you know, that this is wrong. I can sign on the screen if I want to. And then all of that information can be captured. Now I can very quickly and easily just add another defect. I just press add. I add another criteria. So perhaps it's missing a base nut. And I'll add another one. And I'll say that it's missing a base slider. And then I can show again, I can grab a photograph of something that it's missing. And I can draw on it. And I can say, well, the base slider is supposed to be, you know, base slider is supposed to be here and it's missing whatever it is that you're pointing out and then I can add I'm gonna add another one so we'll say that there's a cosmetic problem and I'll just say that this is an other problem and anytime that you say there's an other or use the term other it will ask you it bring up a field for you to say other so we can just say that this is a missing, um, you know, I don't know. It's missing something else. You can put it in there, missing nut again. And, it, and you know, once again, you can capture a photograph uh, for that and then just add the photograph to it. And then you're done. Once you're done with the inspection for that particular item, you can submit and then do another item as it comes through with the appropriate serial number. Each one of the serial numbers can have multiple fault codes. And there's some information that we're going to need to get in order to come up with an estimate. 
just so you know, this has about maybe three hours into this little prototype. And you can see we're quite a ways along. So we don't think it's going to be something too complicated and is likely to be something that will fit within your budget, I'm sure. So I do look forward to speaking with you. Thanks for your time for watching this and do give the prototype a try. Let me know your schedule so that we can get connected with uh, one of my engineering experts for 